Hey everyone, in this video, let's do a review of RenderNet. In order to do so, here we are at RenderNet.ai, and with RenderNet, you can bring stories alive with AI characters. Create stunning images and videos starring your custom design virtual humans. Create unique characters instantly, hyper-realistic characters in image and videos while ensuring consistent appearance, style, and features. From concept to creation, generate high-quality visuals and videos for any story, project, or idea quickly and effortlessly. Redefining Gen AI for visual creativity, the gold standard in character consistency. Strike a perfect pose, make your character mimic any pose from a reference photo with ease. Ultra fast video generation, generate videos for your characters from detailed prompts in no time. Perfect lip sync in 25 plus languages, add voice to any video and sync it seamlessly with your character. Generate realistic skin, add lifelike textures and details to skin for authentic visuals. Storyboard your ideas, explore limitless ideas on infinite web canvas, perfect for storyboarding, concepting, and pre-visualization. Connect, create, and collaborate. See how creators like you are transforming their projects. Explore their stories, share your own. Connect with the community that brings ideas to life on Discord. So let's go ahead and take a look at RenderNet. We'll go ahead and head back to the top here. We're gonna click on Launch App. And this is what you're going to encounter when you first start off with RenderNet. And some really interesting features here. So first off, if we want to create a music video with our character, then we can do that. And what we can do is we have a variety of characters that we can choose from, but we can also create our own characters. So if you want to create a new character, you can just click on that there and you can either generate a character or you can start with the face. I started with the face. And so this is the character here that I created. And here you can see what are they doing? So we have our character created and you can see here that we have a prompt that's going to tell us what the result is going to look like. Looking at the camera, night view, standing on a dirt road, the sky above is a stunning display of the Milky Way galaxy with countless stars scattered across the vast expense. So that's what the result is going to look like with our character integrated there. And we have a variety of helpful suggestions here at the bottom. We can even select portrait or landscape, and we have the option to either generate an image or generate video. Let's go ahead and click on generate video. And this is going to bring us to the page where we could see, um, first off, we're going to see here the subscription option. So we'll just take a quick look at that. So we have the uh, yearly right now, which is 40% off. That might not last long. So keep that in mind. But um, we're looking here at about uh, $5 USD per month build annually, $60 per year. So for $60, you get a yearly um, subscription that works out to about 400 credits per month. Now, if you go with the monthly, you're looking at $9 a month. So just keep that in mind. For standard, it's 24 and ultra is 69. And the yearly, we're looking at about $5 for the basic, $14 for the standard. This is uh, per month, but billed at 168 per year for the standard. And then the ultra is 492, which makes out to be about $41 per month. So that is uh, going to give you an idea of what it's going to cost you to use RenderNet. They do offer some free uh, credits, but not too many. So enough to maybe uh, do a couple of things, but um, those are going to run out pretty quick. and. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. But as far as the um, options here go, let's go ahead and take a look at image first. You can see here that we have a variety of image tools that we can use. Uh, 8K upscaling, face replace, true touch. True touch is going to enhance the realism of your characters and upscale them. We also have a prompt generator. So if we want to help creating a prompt for a specific type of character, then we can select from a variety of options here. And then that's going to result in a prompt down here at the bottom that we can then bring over here and uh, use that prompt in our generation. So that's a neat function. We have close swap. So this is pretty cool. You can actually 
have a specific face and then swap out different clothes. So if you want to see yourself wearing different clothes, you can use that. We can also do a product photo. So if you have a product that you want to sell, like uh, mugs, candles, uh, t-shirts, etc., you can bring those in here and then you can change a background and then RenderNet will combine that into a nice photo that you can use for wherever, whether it's uh, Spotify or Etsy or something like that, wherever you might be having your product. Now, as far as the video goes, we have a music video uh, tool, which is pretty cool. Here you can um, enter in your song, you can describe your video, or you can even just paste the lyrics in and you can select the character. So if I want to select my character, then I could just do that. And then I can bring in my song and that will generate a music video. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have the narrator option. So in this case, we could produce lip sync videos of any character with lifelike voices and expressions. So we can upload a video and we can choose a face and we can either write a script or we can upload audio and then we can generate that. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, video face swap. So we can swap switch a face from your uploaded video. So we can bring in the video here. We can upload the photo that we want to change the face out and then we can generate that. On the right hand side here, you can see where you can enter in the video prompt. You can upload your image here and then you can click generate down at the bottom. So as far as everything that RenderNet offers, I mean, it is a uh, pretty straightforward in terms of uh, image and video generation, but it does offer some very unique features like the music video and just the character consistency. The fact that you can upload an image and, uh, and then you can do a lot with that. So with the character that I uploaded, I can put her into a variety of scenarios. So the fact that uh, RenderNet make makes that easy for you is pretty unique and pretty uh pretty cool pretty cool it's uh, nice that somebody has done something like that and just streamlined the process because if you know anything about character creation consistency um it can be uh tricky it can be tricky so having a place where it's um all in the same package is really quite nice so as far as let me just go here and see if we can take a look. So we have our characters here and I'm um, just looking to see if there was anything that I generated here previously, because I'm surprised that I don't have any credits. I only have that one credit there. So let's just see here if any of my creations are hiding somewhere. So yeah, it looks like with the free plan, you only get one credit per month. So uh, the free plan isn't really, uh, it's its not really going to allow you to do much of anything. So that's the uh, the downside of RenderNet. It does have some cool ideas, but unfortunately, you're not really going to be able to test it out too much to see exactly how it works for you. But based on the features there, if it sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then you're going to have to go ahead and upgrade your plan. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.